officially for the first time ever on YouTube, at least from my phone. Um, I do need to just check and see if I know what I'm doing with the comments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think that chat is enabled and hopefully somebody will come on. I don't know if anyone will because of course this is my very first real official YouTube live and I'm just sitting here in my yard. I've got some tangerine trees behind me um, and I just wanted to hop on and get the ball rolling. I've been honestly feeling a bit of paralysis on getting started with my YouTube channel and um, feeling intimidated and that is actually why I wanted to come on um, because I wanted to talk about things that we can do when we feel that paralysis. I didn't know quite what to do. I tried talking, talking it out a little bit, asking for a little bit of advice and um, I did get some good advice. Um, I do see some folks are on. It doesn't show me who you are and I also don't see any chat. So I'm gonna be learning as I go. If, um, if you give me one second, I will just check and see. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Hi, Karen Trout. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. Yay, I learned how to turn on the chat. Look at me. Okay. <laughs> um, so it just disappeared again. So this will be a learning experience. Um, thank you so much for your patience, everybody. I know lives can be a little bit obnoxious, um, but it is extremely um, convenient because doing edited videos takes a really long time and I just don't have extra time. So nevertheless, what I wanted to talk about was something that I woke up thinking about this morning and it's a very, very simple tool that I've used in the past when I'm having a lot of negative thinking. And I call it what if, and I'm not so sure where I got the idea. I think some somebody told me at some point um, to just say what if, and then fill in the blank with something positive. Okay, so if I'm having negative thinking, for example, um, like, uh, oh, trying to think of a good example. Okay. Let's give hypothetic example would be somebody who just lost their job. Okay. And they're deep down having like lots of fear and anxiety about, you know, what does this mean? What, you know, am I going to wind up homeless? Am I going to, you know, not be able to feed myself and these sorts of things. I don't know about you all, but my mind can tend to go to the bad place pretty easily. And so um, the what if would be starting with, what if I don't wind up homeless? Like what if, and then stay, and I start, I start like that and then I start to make it more positive. So I'll start to say things like, what if this winds up being a blessing in disguise? And you don't have to do anything else. You're just putting your brain on that trajectory. Like, okay, I'm, I'm on this negative path. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know how to dig myself out of it. And so I'm just going to start by saying what if, and then fill in the blank with just something very simple and positive. So, um, I'm just going to keep this really short. I think the idea is extremely basic and simple, but it is something that helps. And I have found that of all the tools that I use, um, for battling anxiety, depression, negative thinking, anything like that, some of the more simple ones tend to be the ones that I gravitate toward because they're just easy and you can do them in the moment no matter where you are. So I hope that that's helpful and um, please do comment below if you have ever used what if or if you decide to use it and it works for you or please, please tell me what you use in moments of being stuck in negative thinking patterns and I'd love to hear from you. So much love, take care, bye-bye.